hello everyone so now we are going to uh, talk about the last problems that we uh, we are talking like um, the post test loop okay for input validation means we are going to take the input okay now we are going to take the input the input is expected to a positive number all right uh, positive now if the number is negative means wrong input for wrong input we are going to keep continue taking the input okay now um, with the post test loop we saw that uh, with the post test loop we saw that one approach to solve that we are going to start with an illegal value uh, now while the number is illegal value we are going to keep taking the number okay we are going to keep taking the input all right now here instead of post test uh, instead of that what we can do actually we can use another approach using break statement um, here uh, some programmer some programmer prefer this approach where we are using a condition as a true condition means our condition will always become true okay if we write anything like that while true means we are writing a condition each condition we know that each condition will be evaluated to either true or false but we are giving explicitly a true condition okay that means this condition is always true okay there is nothing to check this condition is always true means it it can actually create a infinite loop right so if a condition is always true that means it can create a infinite loop so that means inside this uh, while loop where the condition is always true we have to have something uh, that will uh, that will ultimately break the loop okay and here what actually we are going to do for our input validation problem all right uh, with this under true condition we are going to take the number okay uh, we are going to take the number as an input if the number is positive okay x greater than or equal to zero we are expecting a positive number if the number is positive means it's a valid input okay means we do not have to continue the loop we are going to exit from the loop okay but else means if x is not uh, uh, greater than or equal to zero okay then it will break from the loop at this point but if not okay it is going to execute this statement okay and it is going to print the number you entered was not positive so continue the loop all right so let me write uh, let me just write down that and you will get the idea okay All right, I'm going to just comment all of them. So I can write a condition like that while true. Okay, so x is going to be a input. If x greater than or equal to 0 that means that's a valid input okay so if that's a valid input we do not have to continue taking the input from the user but if not okay we can write a else but we do not actually need that because whenever it will exit the break it that means it is going to break from the loop okay but if it doesn't break from the loop it is going to actually execute this statement okay the number you entered is not valid okay so it is going to go to the while loop again okay and it is going to continue the loop and it, it is going to take for another input okay and it will continue until you enter a valid or positive input okay let me round that So enter a number minus one. All right, minus four. It will continue minus nine. So let's give one. Okay. So now it breaks from the loop. It terminates from the loop. All right. 
so this is another use of using a break statement because a break statement means it's a immediate exit from the loop okay now in this example this is known as a loop and a half okay um, loop and a half and it's an elegant way to like avoid the priming read of the sentinel loop what actually we can do i mean instead of sentinel loop we can use this loop and a half so while true condition we can actually like continue the loop and but if the item is the sentinel value okay then we are going to break okay otherwise we are going to process the item okay so and this method is just an alternate way to write a sentinel loop okay 